Hey, it's Irfan, the mad scientist here again. I want to show you something. I found this motherboard. Somebody threw it out in the garbage room of my building, so I picked it up. I wanted to check it out to see if it was any good. So I did a temporary hookup here. I'll show you what I did just to see if the uh, motherboard was any good before I went out and put any investments into it. It's an <coughs> it's an Asus and the model number is M2A-VM. Now it takes a PS2 mouse and PS2 keyboard which I have here the old style trackball old style keyboard and it already had everything that you see here it had except two extra RAM chips which I put in but it had these two big ones here already which is one and one two gigs and uh, I got a power supply ATX power supply one of the guys uh, gave me um, a complete computer a complete computer and he gave me some spare parts two power supplies two DVD players and a few other things so I was able to use his power supply hook it up to the motherboard and uh, had uh, these I bought eight of these brand new Western Digital 250 gigabyte hard drives from eBay for 50 bucks uh, my power supply that this now what I did I <coughs> went online to the manufacturer Asus and I got the the manual let me show you I'll give me a minute here I downloaded the manual for that motherboard M2A-VM motherboard by Asus and all I needed to know was where the power switch connection was because as you see as you can see here this is not a regular uh, computer setup it's not in a case so there's no power button now I went down already did this I went down to page 43 or 44 give me a minute here what page are we on here All right. Here on page 44 of the manual, you can see that little diagram. It shows me where the power switch would connect. And that's here, you see that? Power and ground on this connector. Now that connector is over here, this part of the motherboard. So these two pins are the power connector. So when I bridge these two pins, it'll turn on. I already got my power hooked up. That's for my monitor and for the power supply. And I got everything else hooked up, the hard drive cables and everything uh, keyboard and mouse now um, I already loaded I already did this and I already loaded up Windows XP that I had from uh, college when I went to school so all I'm gonna do now is power it up because if I had to show you loading up the operating system it'll take too long
Let's see, show you it's loading up. So it's running off of the hard drive now. And you can see CPU, there we go. Windows XP loading up. And this is just a temporary jury rig, jerry rig, to prove that the motherboard was good. Windows is starting up. There's no sound or anything on it because I won't have the connections for it to, to play the sound. I'll need a USB port which is not hooked up now because this is just like a, a chassis right now. And if you're wondering, administrator, type your password, okay, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, nope, that's not it. Welcome, Earthling. There, see? So everything here, display, settings. Yeah, let's do that and see what happens. I'll go with yes. Yes. That's that. So let me see here now that I'll show you one thing what I do go up to computer any computer that I um, I have to make up uh, I always divide my hard drive remember I told you this was a 250 gig hard drive whatever it is I always try to divide my hard drives into two partitions this here is a local disk C, right, which I made 100. Of course, it's going to be less because of all the uh, extra stuff, files that it needs. And I made the second partition, which I named storage, for the remainder of whatever the hard drive is. In, case, in this case, it would have been 150, but it comes down to 136, you know, after you slice it up. The reason why I did that is because when we were in school, in college, the professor told us if you do it this way, all of your operating stuff is on the local disk C. If anything should happen to your computer, all you got to do is reload your operating system on disk, local disk C partition, and whatever you had partition the other part for in this case is called storage and renamed it storage all of your data should be there still you wouldn't lose your data because if you leave your hard drive as the full whatever whatever it is 250 gigabyte in this case or 500 gigabyte or 750 if something goes wrong with the computer you have to reload the whole operating system and everything gets wiped from your hard drive okay so in this Dividing up your hard drive into two parts or more if you want. Anything goes wrong, you reload your operating system on the uh, main primary, and everything else should remain in the storage or the other part. Now I'm done here. I just wanted to show you this works. The motherboard, ASUS motherboard, um, conventional PS2 mouse and keyboard it takes a VGA for me to uh, run the monitor it also has a DVI connected here I'm not going to use that and everything else you got the RAM chips this here is for the floppy but I don't have a floppy I don't have a case and then I rigged everything up with my uh, cable to my hard drive SATA hard drive SATA power supply uh, the DVD is here, it works, but I don't have anything to put in because I already put my, um, my operating system in. 
my cable I happen to have a ribbon cable for this otherwise I'd be stuck and that's it so I just wanted to show you that thank you very much for watching and um, we'll see each other again in the next video now to power down remember I powered up bridging these two pins here uh, to power down I'll just go through the same usual configuration that you you power down with uh, go I could do it with the with the keyboard alone I could use the mouse I could use the mouse to go through here but let's see what happens when I do it with the keyboard if I hit this again that'll go away and I hit it again it'll come up now I use the tab key to bring me up to turn off computer hold on let me see if that works nope forgot how to do that okay use the arrows aha uh -huh. use the arrow keys down arrow keys and it takes me right up to oops <laughs> turn off computer and hit enter all right and it gives me just in case your mouse stops working your mouse goes dead not enough cheese and we're gonna go to turn off so let me see if the arrows do that aha uh -huh. so the arrows would take me to turn off and then once that's selected I hit enter and it's going to start shutting down so that's another way to turn it off if your mouse is not working so it's shut down now my fan stopped spinning this LED on the on the motherboard is still going to see oh it's bright that's why you can really not see it but it's a green LED that's anytime you hook up your power supply that stays on and that's it I'm going to dismantle everything now I just wanted to show you how I got to prove the motherboard was good alrighty guys thank you very much for watching take care bye now